Politics was the life of my family. My dad was a member of parliament when I was born. Both my grandfathers were members of parliament. And so I had a very early opportunity to think about politics, and it's become a, a great interest of mine throughout my life. The first time I came here, I was 12 in 1937, sat in the gallery and watched my father take his seat. And so I'm very much at home here. As I've got older, I realized that Parliament can become a club. You're a member of a club. And actually, you are there to represent people, to put your own view forward. And it's not just a cozy little place where you just meet and govern the country. It's a place where real issues uh, are decided and you have to put forward your arguments with passion and uh, vote according to your conscience. And so I did vote uh, quite a number of occasions against the Labour Party, including Labour governments. And I did so because I felt very strongly that was the right thing to do. Well, I'm a socialist, and if you support working people, you do get attacked for that reason. And uh, they presented you as if you were a sort of, not quite a terrorist, but an enemy of society and all that. The main protagonists in the bar election had already taken up their positions. Tony Benn was trying to meet as many people as possible to prove he doesn't actually have horns. I was once the most dangerous man in Britain, and now I'm uh, described as a national treasure. From being the most dangerous man in Britain to being a national treasure is also a danger, because if you're a national treasure, they're really saying you're a kindly, harmless old gentleman. Well, I am kindly, I am old, I could be a gentleman, but I'm not harmless.